I told you all I would do it, and I finally did. I finally, finally finished digging the giant hole. It took a lot of time and a lot of effort, but I finally did it. This is a total of nine chunks, by the way, one, two, three by one, two, three. And so this spot right here, that is the chunk indicating the slime chunk that is in here. Now, I don't know actually if any of the corners are slime chunks. I do need to test that out, but for sure, this one is a slime chunk. So the first step in, oops, <laughs> the first step in the agenda for today, how do I? How do we get down there now? <laughs> so the first step is to go around and fill in every one of these holes that is in the sidewall. And the reason that we have to do that is because we need to make sure that this area is mob proof. Because we're going to be building mob farms in here, we have to make sure that all of these side spots are not spawning anything and taking away from our mob farm. So we're going to fill all of these spots in on every single wall and make sure that there's nothing standing inside of these because while I was digging, things were constantly spawning in these holes. No! Uh, oh, seriously? And I can't even tell you how many times I got shot off. No, no, no! Dang it. Of my scaffolding blocks by skeletons, or had creepers drop on top of me, or zombies come and approach me and stand at the top of my scaffolding and preventing me from moving, from getting to the top of my scaffolding. Oh, come on, really? <sighs> what? No! Where even is he? No. Oh. I'm nearly halfway done. Actually, maybe a little bit more than halfway done. Patching up all the walls. And we have an issue with the Enderman. The issue is not the issue that you would think it is, though. You can see they seem to like congregating down here. The issue is not them taking the blocks, it's not even them forcing me to look at them. The issue is with them leaving the blocks. There has been multiple times already that I have been down here and I have found a grass block, not a dirt block, a grass block placed right here, somewhere around here anyways, on my bedrock. And what's happening is these endermen are plucking grass blocks from way up there. They're teleporting down to here, running around like idiots for a while, getting tired of carrying their grass block, and then putting it down. The problem with that is now that is a spawnable location that I have to keep track of and break every time that they do it. So anyways, I'm gonna keep doing this, and then the next step for what we're going to do is going to be to shave off all around the corners of this thing at the top in order to make it look more natural when you're up there. And the way we're going to do that is by somewhat matching the design of the Skylands. Now, this diagonal corner, if you look, each of the diagonal corners extends just a hair beyond what the circle? I was going to say sphere, but I guess it's not a sphere, is it? The circle of the island is shaped as. So what we need to do basically is bring this point over to that granite pillar right there because that marks the edge basically of the skylands itself, the borders that I marked out when I created it. So then what we'll do basically is we'll come down gradually uh, in, in from starting here and then coming down until it's open. But one of the things I need to do first, you see all these torches along the wall, is I need to go ahead and get rid of each and every one of those. And the easiest way I think to do that is going to be with water. There we go. That's what I actually wanted it to do. And so what that should do is that should wash down each of the torches. So I think that's going to be the easiest way. Now there is a pumpkin somewhere. Aha, there it is 
in the wall. If you look right there, you can see that pumpkin. If we get, get all these particles out of my face, uh, I'm gonna have to go turn the beacon off. Where's the beacon? Oh, I moved the beacon, by the way. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get that wither cage set up here soon because I do have enough iron for multiple beacons now. However, this drives me absolutely crazy, and I need to mark that. These particles, guys, they really, really get to me. I don't, I don't know if they bother you guys as much as they do me, but they really, they kind of make me dizzy, give me a little bit of anxiety, and that could part, you can see my beacon right there in that glitch. That may be, it's likely enhanced, I guess, by the medical issues that I'm having right now. Anyways, that pumpkin right there, is the cave where the double zombie spawners were at that way if and when i get to the point of doing something with those we know where they are because as i had just showed you in the previous clip we filled in all the walls i gotta say that is looking so very much better than it was however we still have a few issues one of the issues you can see right there is we have mobs spawning we went through all the work to make sure mobs weren't spawning inside of the walls and now we have mobs spawning on the sides but i already have a solution for that and that's going to be to use the half slabs and stairs trick that we used up in the skylands in order to hide some lighting and then the other issue that we have is if you look at our quote circle it's just not quite right is it it's still very square like and that's because all we did is we took from corner rounded it off to corner rounded off to corner uh, but on the inside we did not round it off at all and so what we need to do because it's not just an outside circle it's an inside circle more like a funnel if you think about it as if if this was to drop down so what i need to do is bring the corners actually out into the hole a little bit if that makes any sense to you at all and that is no big deal because the corners are not part of the original plan for the space and of course we can always utilize the space underneath them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out each of the corners by just enough to round it off, right? Make it look good. And then what I think I want to do is do a layer of black glass right about there at the bottom of where all of the, I guess, removed blocks are at. And I seem to have missed a piece of diorite right there. Oops, there we go. And so the black glass is going to kind of hopefully make it look like it's just a permanent hole down there. That way we can do everything we need to do underneath it and kind of get away with it not looking like it's a big industrial thing. And then there's spots like this that we're going to have to come back to every so often because, at, can, sir, please don't. Could, could you not? <laughs> I, I'm talking to my friends right now. You get wrecked. Okay. So, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to have to come back and touch this up over time as the grass starts to grow. Like right here, this is obviously not very good at all. And so what we're going to have to do is come back and touch things up as the grass grows in and I've run out of coarse dirt. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep working on that. But I'm going to bring in these corners a little bit. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how things are looking. I'm also going to do the stairs trick and slabs for kind of lighting up this area and, and also giving it a little bit more of a slant. So overall, it is coming along really well. And FYI, the reason that I wanted to do all of this today is because I really started feeling bad about having this giant ugly hole that was incomplete. And it kind of felt like it was getting to the point where it was the kind of thing is like, I kept saying I was going to do it and then never getting around to it. And I don't ever want to be like that. I, I want to I want to do the things I say I'm going to do. And I want I don't ever want to have projects that are left unfinished or halfway done for long periods of time. So I wanted to get this knocked out so that we can get the Skylands looking more and more complete. So I've done the math on how much sand it is that we're going to need as well as ink and it's quite a bit i was hoping that i had some sand in here but i don't so we have nine chunks in our area and each chunk is 16 by 16 blocks actually i don't need all of these in here so if you take that 16 by 16 
is 256 blocks. So 256 blocks in order to fill one single chunk. And then we have nine chunks, which means 2,304 blocks. Divide that by 64, which is one stack, means we need 36 stacks of sand in order to make that same amount of glass. And to give you an idea of how much that is, there is nine in each row of a shulker box times three is 27, plus one more row gives us 36. So basically I need a shulker box plus another row of sand in order to make all the glass. And yeah, that's that's a lot. Did I miss one? I did. There was one I put a whole lot in. Where was it? Was it this one? Yeah. So I'm gonna be here for a little bit, smelting up this glass. But the other thing that we need to do, and I suppose I better make some extra just to be sure. But the other thing that we need to do is we need to visit not, not just one of the farms, but the very first farm actually that we made in J World. And we haven't actually been there since the first time that we made it, I don't think. And that would be our ocean fish farm, which I'm realizing uh, we kind of left it in not the best condition, didn't we? <laughs> we still got water pouring off the edge in order to get up and down there. We still have this really awkward and ugly pillar <laughs> going on. Yeah. Do me a favor. In about four or five videos, when I've forgotten about this place, remind me to come clean it up. And also, <laughs> if you didn't notice, yeah, we're... we're 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 Steve today, uh, and that's because my internet has gone out. It's been raining quite a bit, actually, a whole lot. I better put my armor on so I don't die. It's been raining a lot. It basically rained all night, which for my city, which is literally the sunniest city in the world, Yuma, Arizona, we we don't get that much rain. And yeah, so for it to rain all night long is a lot. And there's areas of the city that are flooding with water. I mean, it's not horrible flooding by any means, but it is flooding. And so anyways, my internet is out. I cannot connect. And without internet, I can't get my skin. So anyways, we're going to... A Actually, you know what? I should check the chest first. But what... Well, ah, get down there. What we need is we need ink. Please go down. No, please go down. Why, is, why does he keep going up? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, there's no ink in here. So we need a whole bunch of ink in order to dye all of the glass that we just made black and fill in the cover over the Skyland hole. And somewhere around three to three and a half hours later, we are back to our devilishly handsome self again because the internet is back up and running for me. But also, we have a ton of fish and bones, and we have one, two, three, four, five stacks of ink stacks, which should be enough to make all of the black glass that we want, figuring that we needed the amount, whatever the number of glass was that I said we needed, and then divide that by eight, since you need one ink sack for Eight. Basically, you put the ink sack here and then eight pieces of glass like so. And the one drawback, the biggest drawback to AFKing is these dumb phantoms. Ah, yeah, get wrecked, stupid nerd. They're gonna come back with more friends though. Okay, which way am I going? We need to get back to the Skylands so that we can... This way. We need to get back to the Skylands. Ah, ah. <laughs> Dang it. So that we can lay in all of the black glass. And then the next thing that we're going to take care of is going to be the entrances. We're going to build up the rest of the water elevators. And we are going to... Yeah. Yeah, get dead. We are going to build up checkpoints because when I am standing waiting for the elevator to be ready, the soul sand water elevator. There's a lot of times that I'm literally standing there with my bow and arrow and sword and fending off mob after mob. And that, yep, there's the pyramid right there. Okay. 
So we need to make that area a bit more safer while we are waiting for the elevator to get ready. And I'm thinking the way that we do that one is we'll have a little bit of redstone trickery to enclose the area in, but uh, dang it, these guys are gonna like make me fall in the ravine or something. <laughs> but dang it, I'll, I'll finish talking when I get there and these guys are not killing me. As I was just trying to say, what we need to do is get all the glass put into place, which you can see I have done. And it's looking pretty good. I even, I like the lighting effects, how it's got like the gloomy kind of uh, shadow casting that's going on. I might even try to play with that a little bit more, but to be honest, it looks really cool the way that it is already. I kind of want to add another layer of black glass below, which yes, I know that means an entire another shulker box and a half almost of glass to gather, but you know, it would look absolutely epic if we did it. So that is all the time that we have for today because clearing out all of this nonsense, finishing finishing digging out all of this nonsense, it, it actually took me a really long time. Like the amount of time I put into this episode before I even started recording was ridiculous. So we're gonna call it here, but what we need to do is we need to, in between episodes, I'm going to try and clear out all of these diorite dirt spots that are around here and we may end up just period actually you know what i'm not going to do that because i think what i want to do is make all of these walls look super nice like brick stone or something like that possibly and the reason i'm thinking we need to do that is because maybe down under here we need to have some kind of skyland conspiracy going on we need to have like like maybe there's secret testing or secret manufacturing going on that may have actually caused the entire virus zombie outbreak thing to happen so let me know if you are for that down in the comments on twitter or in the discord let me know and also what i would like as some input for you we have a lot of work to do on this grass stuff around here don't we uh what i would also like to know from you is in regards hello spider where well, i hear him okay in regards to the skylands and our power ring which by the way i still need to put wool on all of the chains but the skylands itself should be safe now in regards to our power ring though does it need power does it require a power source of some kind do we need something coming off of it that is giving it power maybe maybe some kind of solar power every day that charges it and it lasts through every single night that way uh, i don't know what do you think what do you think let me know down in the comments what you think we should do about that if we should do anything at all that is it for today's episode though you guys it took a very long time but i gotta say it's looking pretty epic so next week, we are going to continue on in making security checkpoints, in finishing the elevators going up to the Skylands, and cleaning up the entrances, as I had started to say previously, is that while I'm standing there at that water elevator waiting for it to be ready for me to go up, I'm fighting off mobs every time, it seems like. So I hope that you did enjoy that. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, then please do subscribe. That's it for today. I'm Animus J, and I will see you in the next video.